I am in the House Kaz area of Delhi where I've just checked into this lovely Airbnb apartment and now it's time to go explore the local area. I am right next to this green park that has old 13th century temples. Looks like there's graveyards and stuff over there. And then on this side of the wall, there's like a village. Looks like locals, just regular locals doing their local stuff, hanging around, doing their laundry and stuff like that. So I let's go out and have a wee explore. Well, it looks like this is where all the local ice cream men park their vehicles. Hi, how to go over here? I want to go over the wall. This way around, okay, thank you. Okay, down here should be the entrance then, I guess. Look at the state of that car. About the same as almost every car you see in Delhi, actually. <laughs> what do you have, sir? I want something, some chips or something. I can try, try? No, no try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, well, it's good. Looks like pasta and stuff. Ah, I want something I can eat now. Oh, this is all pasta. Oh, it's all pasta, not for eating now. It's for cooking, cooking. I am, I am. I am. You need cooking? Yeah. Ah, okay, I think this is something for eating now, like a, like a snack. Okay, <laughs> thank you, my friend, thank you. <laughs> it's the first snack stall I saw, and I was up for it. I'm actually a bit hungry. Anyway, I'm walking into this uh, main area. It's kind of like uh, an area where there's, uh, it's a trendy area. So this used to be like an old kind of area. So you still have like the old vendors with bloody horse and cart and stuff like that. But you also have these, there's like co-working spaces, fancy coffee shops, fancy restaurants and stuff these days. So that's the kind of area we're going into just now. I'm actually trying to find my way into the park, which I guess it's gonna be around that way somewhere. I like this, fancy clothes shops, stuff like that. And right next to it, you've just got guys working on the street, selling their, I don't know, 20 rupee snacks and stuff like that. All right, well, there's one entrance to the park, but it looks like it's locked. So I'm gonna have to take a left or right. In fact, can I get through that? It doesn't look like it's locked. I can go through there or no? Oh, this way, okay. Oh, great, thank you. Right there, there we are, into the park. Let's go and check it out. Okay, white man price time again, it looks like. What's that? 25 for locals and 300 for foreigners. Well, I can use my card and get a 50 discount. I'll probably do that, actually. Hello. Not working. Not working? You can give me the card price then. 250 for the for the ticket, yeah? 300 only cash. Yeah, but I want to pay for card that says 250. But she's in not working. That's your problem, not my problem. Only cash. Sorry. Oh. No worries. Here's your 300. Take it. Thank you. And we go then. Oh wow. Check this out. So look at these houses there. They have an amazing view, don't they? Wonder if I could have got one of those places on Airbnb. They got a better view than mine. For sure, I don't know if they'd be as nice inside though. It's the Airbnb I'm staying in. But look at that, can we actually climb this fence? And go in, oh, I see people over there, so I guess we can. Right, let's go and explore. Wow, check this out. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? And it looks like you can just climb all over it. There's guys sitting on the wall up there. So it's not one of these places that are really strict on where you can and can't go. I think you can just explore anything you want around here, like that guy, just walking all over the wall. So yeah, I think I'll take advantage of that. Do a wee bit of adventuring myself. Oh, is that a shotgun? Shotgun. <laughs> good. Aye, that's good. Now, usually the security guys in these places, they're trying to offer you unofficial tours, but I think he clocked the fact that I've uh, I'm holding a camera and doesn't want to do that. So that's good. That's one way to avoid getting hassled by these guys. Hold the camera in your hand. All right, there's actually information, signs going on here. What's it saying? Well, it's saying this is the Western wing of the Madrasa. Madrasa is a school. So 
there would have been a school within this fort and that would have been it, right there. I uh, don't know if there's anything worth looking at inside. Just seems to be local people hanging out. A cheap, convenient place to hang out on your weekends, I guess, for the locals, especially if you're only paying 20 rupees for your ticket. It's not like if you're a foreigner. If you were a foreigner living here, just say you were staying in the house Kaz area uh, for a month or something like that, you'd have to spend 300 rupees every day, like 9,000 over the period of a, of a month, just to walk around here. But hey, uh, it's nice, isn't it? Just to disturb couples. <laughs> Looks like this is a couple's place, you know? One of those places, uh, couples and friends just hanging out on their Saturday afternoon. So I guess this must be the massive reservoir. That's if you Wikipedia this place, it tells you it all started with this reservoir that was created in the 13th century and then everything else, the village was built up all around it. Aye. And it looks like they've turned that into a wee walking area. You can walk all the way around the reservoir, so I might do that, but I'm having a lot of fun here. A wee squirrel there. Oh, squirrel, ADHD. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun just wandering around the, the fort ruins. And uh, yeah, just regular Joes living right next to this place. Hanging their washing out and chilling on their balconies. Hi. Oh, it's pitch dark in here. Oh, disturbing people again. Ah, there we go. Oh, it looks a wee bit dodgy. Can I stand on that? Looks like I can. Ah, oh, this is nice, isn't it? I uh, should have brought some food, a blanket, and a girl. It looks like that is the standard thing to do. Every guy, every guy with his girl, and me, I'm a Todd Sloan. <laughs> Oh, looks like some sort of tomb or something in here. Aye. Oh, aye. Just a few graves in it. Don't know who they belong to or anything. No information. But may they rest in peace. Oh, actually, there you go. That's telling you whose tomb it is. It's a guy called Feroz Shah. And he built this tomb at the same time as the school in the 1350s. So there you go. Whoever Feroz Shah is. Must have been an important guy. Maybe the boss man, maybe the Raj, something like that. Oh, here's the map of the area, and that's where I've just been, around there and around there to the Madrasa West Wing, and that's the tombs, they're right over there. That's where I'm staying, probably, probably there, actually, right there, I think. That's where I'm staying, so where shall we go now? I guess down in this general direction. We might actually find a way down here to go walk around that river, river, lake, tank, reservoir, I don't know, let's go anyway. Right, so we're on top of the northern wing of the Madrasa, that's the information about it here, and we'll be on top of it, that's what it'll look like from down there. And it's saying here that the building was covered in this kind of white plaster and then painted in bright colours. Now it's just like that, you're just seeing the stone, but back in the day, that would have looked beautiful, wouldn't it? Uh, I probably try and find my way down there. I don't know how to get down there. I don't know if this is the correct way or not, but I'll have a wee explore anyway. In fact, that does look like that's going to take me right down. Let's go. Oh, oh, it looks like I've just entered the construction site. Ah, uh, it looks like they're renovating the place. Uh, uh, that's good. They're keeping it up. At least the money's getting spent on something. Those 300 rupees. Aye, uh, okay. Back up. It's a uh, construction down there. Uh, they're doing, yeah, you can you can go and look, but you can't really walk. They're you doing the, yeah. 
Okay, still trying to find my way down here. I don't know if you can do it, I don't know if there is a way. Maybe this place, maybe this park area is enclosed and that's what you're paying the ticket price for and maybe that actual lake park is free. So maybe that's what it is, because that doesn't look like something you should have to pay for to get into that. That just looks like a public park, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know, maybe down here, this is my last opportunity. Doesn't look like it. How to get down there to the water? You know, this way? I tried to get to the water. I can go this way, yeah? I have to go out again. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Exit. I'll have to exit first and then go. Ah, okay. This is like a separate area. You have to take the first exit from there. Ah, okay. Then you have to go downstairs. Ah. And you will get this. Ah, Park yeah. Lake. So this is a different area. Yeah, this, this one you. Area. This one you pay for and this one free, right? Uh, this yes, one is free. Ah, and this is free. okay. I get it now. I, just, I thought it was all the same thing. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Good. Now we've got the information. The locals. They'll sort you out with what you need to know. And Dale Phillip. And you? Dale Phillip. Okay. You have your phone? Follow you have phone? Yeah, yeah. I type. Okay. YouTube, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. YouTube. Where are you from? Scotland. You're from Delhi or another place? Best Delhi, it. yeah. That's it. Delhi. Ah, okay. Okay, subscribe, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay good. See well, you guys. Single photo, single photo, single photo. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice okay, see nice you. You're cold, you're wearing a jacket. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Okay, good. Got three new subscribers. So, yeah, three new subscribers for my 300 rupees. It was worth it, wasn't it? Right? <laughs> Let's go out and try and find this lake then. Hi. Right, well, it's said along this street and then left, so I guess probably down this wee alleyway here. There's no sign or anything. Let's have a look. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, camera. Yeah. Uh oh, aggressive street dogs. That's not something I want to see. Uh, where is the park? I'm very cautious. Oh, she's going to chase them away. That's good. <laughs> you know where the park is to get to the lake? To, to get to the reservoir, the lake? I have to go. I came the wrong way. Yeah, that way and then this way. Ah, okay. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. I'll find it eventually. Hi, my friend. I want to go to the lake, the big lake. Just go straight oh. around 50 meters and take left. Ah, okay. Yeah. Someone told me to come back this way. No, no. Okay, okay. Thank you, my friend. Okay. Maybe that guy thought I meant the temple park. Okay. Background here again. It's the third time I've passed these people. Sorry. Hi. How are you? <laughs> again. <laughs> yes. Again. <laughs> again we go. This should be the last time. Right. This guy that told me the wrong way. I think I actually might be down there. There's seems to be light at the end of this tunnel. This dog again. Uh oh. Shoo, 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 shoo. Doggy, doggy. Doggy. Let me pass. Ah, uh, this doesn't look like the correct way. Wow. Bunch of graffiti and stuff. In fact, is there a way over here or not? Don't know. Doesn't look like the legit way to go. Nope. <laughs> That's where I want to be. I guess I need to go just further over there, down the main street, and then turn left. Ah, oh, my friend, I want to go over. How do I go this way? Ah, okay, thank you. Great. <laughs> I'm getting lost. It's like a maze in this place. What is your shop? Oh, you got an art gallery. Oh wow, look at that. Amazing. You're doing painting or are you selling? Same. Selling. Ah, oh, wow. Great. Okay, see you, my friend. Thanks. Ah, 
Ah, here we are, into the main park area. There's all these resistance machines, they look brand new, they're covered in bubble wrap and stuff, but you see those types of machines in Bangkok, Lumpini Park, places like that, have them. Nice free exercise equipment for the locals. Right, let's go for a wander around this lake, let's do the full circle, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Where should we go? Well, it looks like most people are going this direction, so let's follow. Oh, big old monkey right there. Somebody's been feeding it. It looks like that pasta stuff. <laughs> anyway, it looks like in this free park, there are some uh, ruins here as well. Oh, squirrel. See what's in here then. A bunch of people hanging out. And uh, not much else. Unless there's a way up, you can get to the top of this. Well, it looks like all the way up has been uh, that's not barbed wire, is it? That's some sort of natural barbed wire. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but they're stopping you from going up the steps there. Uh, probably the same with all of them. Aye. So there you go. Probably dangerous up there. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, here's some information. Actually, Munda Gumbad. All oh, right, it's a pavilion. Fine. It looks like that's the stuff there, that jaggy stuff that they're using. That's the natural barbed wire. I think around this way, that should connect to the deer park that's on the map. It's a bigger green area than this area. I think that connects. But I said I was going to go for a wander around the lake. So I guess let's do that. What's this sign saying? The birth star trees in India. People like to worship trees. And there's 27 tree slash species corresponding to each of the 27 somethings and uh, yeah each one of the trees has some kind of medicinal social it looks nice or it's uh, worth money <laughs> so let's have a look it looks like the names are all in like indian hindi and then it's probably the latin name underneath it like that hasta cameli maybe that's chamomile or something i don't know i've really not got much clue about this stuff but it's all pretty, isn't it? I guess if you were uh, a botanist, if you were into uh, flora and stuff like that, <laughs> you'd find this very interesting. Well, that's me done the full loop of this river. We're back to where I was exploring earlier on. The couple's still hanging out there. And that's where I was standing, actually, looking out onto this lake, wondering how the heck do I get down here? Well, now I'm here and now I've completed the loop of the place. And I think now I will go over to that deer park, the big green area on the map and go check that out. See if there's anything worth seeing over there. Ah, and that's I think where I walked across when I was lost. And look at that restaurant right there, those massive glass windows. That'd be a nice place to have a meal with a nice view, wouldn't it? What are you looking out onto? Here we go, the start in this nice, big, green area. And I'm pretty sure most foreigners don't even know that places like this exist in Delhi. You know, foreigners who have never been here, they probably just think of Delhi as this just big concrete jungle, you know, noisy, dirty. Well, this is pretty dirty right now. I'm going through a bloody swamp. Uh, you know, uh, there are quite a few green areas like this. So, uh, yeah, maybe this video will change some people's impression of Delhi. There certainly are the dirty, noisy, uh, <laughs> concrete jungle type places in Delhi, a lot of them. But there are plenty of places like this. You just need to know where to go. Loads of locals here, I guess because it's a Saturday. Guys playing cricket and stuff. What you want to do in this cricket game is aim for the puddle. It's not like he's going to run in there. And well, maybe he is. I don't know how, he seems to be wearing like quite nice shoes and jeans and stuff. I don't know if he's going to just run in there and try and catch the ball. But uh, that's a smart way to do it, isn't it? Aim for the bloody puddles. <laughs> Looks like a kiddie park over there, and I can hear the main road there, so I'll probably try and work my way this, this direction. Oh, 
Oh wow, this place really is huge. I don't even know what direction to go in. Oh, women playing cricket there as well. It's the first time I've seen that. I've never seen women play cricket before. <laughs> oh wow. Well, they're not playing cricket, are they? They're doing something else. What is it they're doing? Does anybody know what this game is? They seem to be throwing a ball to each other. There's a guy standing in the centre and he throws the ball to the outside and they all run around. Let's try and figure out what they're doing. Let's try and figure this game out. Is it dodgeball? I think it's dodgeball. No, it's not. Because he's throwing it to the, the girl and the girl's throwing it back. I have no idea. I have no idea. Someone is going to explain in the comments though, I'm sure. Oh, it is dodgeball. It does look like dodgeball. He tried to hit her. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like there's something interesting through there. They're saying it's woodland, but it looks like it's closed off. It looks like some kind of forest right in the centre of the park. But, eh, uh, aye, there's barbed wire and stuff around there. They don't want anybody going in, so... I guess I'll just walk around it. Look at this. The pigeons, the crows, and the parrots, and the squirrels, all sharing the same feast until I come and scare them away. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Well, somehow I ended up on the other side of the fence. The park's in there. <laughs> I just know that my apartment's up that way some way. I came out there an exit that wasn't the way that I came in. Uh, but yeah, just walking the streets now, trying to find my way back to my apartment. And it looks like this guy is selling coconuts. I wouldn't mind one. I've worked up a wee bit of a thirst, actually. Yeah. Hello, sir. Can I have one coconut, please? Great. Wow, you have a lot of coconuts. That's a lot. <sighs> How much, sir? A small size, 40 rupees. Uh -huh. Size, 50 rupees. And this is small, yeah? yeah. Okay, good. Okay, sir. You can keep the change, okay? Thank you, my friend. Cheers. Okay, good. A little electrolyte drink for the road. Mm. And that coconut vendor giving me the legit price, the legit local price, your man not even having to bargain for how to... <laughs> your man not even having to... I've got this stuck on my bloody foot. Okay. Your man not even having to bargain for the local price just gives me it straight away. So those are the kind of guys that are worth tipping, you know? And I know that is probably about the correct price because that's about the price I pay in Bangkok if I find one of the ones that are legitimate and, uh, you know, don't try and overcharge me. So I guess it's about the same price here. Uh, here we are, the entrance back into the park says Deer Park, House Kaz. So I guess I just follow this, yes. Okay. It says it's 95 acres. And I did see some deer through the fence down here, so that's the way I'm going to walk down this way. Looks like they're all just standing there in a big group. Hello, deer. How are you doing, deer? Oh, did I scare you? You're scared of the Scotsman. All these Indians walking past them all day. They're not bothering. This big white ghost comes along and they'll get spooked. <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. A bunch more of them here. Actually there's loads. Actually there's loads of deer. Hi. What is this thing? Is this a dog? It's a weird looking dog, isn't it? I think something must be wrong with it. Oh, doesn't look in good condition at all, does it? Oh. Ah, okay, so out we go. Vendors here, what they're selling, things like Pani Puri. What is it, sir? What is it? What is it though? 500 one plate. What? 5 100. 5 100? 500 one plate? Are you kidding me, sir? Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> Said 500 a plate, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure it's probably like more closer to five than it is to 500, whatever the price of that stuff's meant to be. Anyway, I'm in the mood for a snack. Maybe I'll find an honest vendor. An honest vendor up in the house cast village where I'm walking back to right now. Actually, I reckon what he might have been saying was five for 100, five pieces for 100, but I'm still sure that's a rip off. I'm still sure that doesn't cost 100 for five pieces. Aye. What's this guy selling here? Oh, momos. Some momos to take back to the apartment. What do you have ready? Do you have chicken ones? Which ones you have inside? Can you show me? The all chicken. Okay, this. Uh, what, are there ten each. Ah, so one plate is for is uh, forty. One plate is forty. Ah, okay. Uh, give me please. Um, uh, give me ten pieces then. I give you one hundred for ten pieces. One hundred rupees. One hundred rupees. Ten ten pieces, right? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, 100, yes. Okay, thank you, my friend, thank you. Oh, wow, that's a lot. I think it's like 25 pieces or something I got for 100. At first, I thought he was saying it was 10 each, like 10 per momo, so I was like, hey, give me 10 then, I'll give you 100. And then the other guy's like, he's, he's asking for 100's worth, he's asking for 100's worth, and that's what he gave me. <laughs> About 25 of the things, so now we go back to the apartment and eat them. Hi, excuse me, sorry, thank you. Oh look, street barber, Harold approves. Oh look who we have here, Mr. Brock Forever. <laughs> Just as well I bought all those momos. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to my humble abode. If you can find the way in. I actually don't know which one is the correct entrance. Hang on, I'm gonna come down and see you. All right, uh, just as well, I bought all those momos. There's actually 30 of them. <laughs> I got 30 of them. Look what a nice host I am preparing this table. Right, I'll go down and let the lad in. Hello, here I am. <laughs> it's very uh, nondescript. There's no sign or anything like that, so. Yeah, you were like, what hotel are you staying in? I'm like, it's not a hotel, you're not going to find it. Just, yeah. I sent you pictures of the ice cream trucks. Find those. That's my school right there. That's Is it? Right there. All right, so you park right next to them. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Come, I have momos to share. I got way too many. I asked the guy for a hundred, a hundred uh, rupees worth and I got 30 of them. <laughs> I thought you got a hundred No, uh, he couldn't describe. Sure there, yeah, sure there, yeah. He, he didn't really understand what I was asking. Yeah, I had to do that as well when I was checking in. <laughs> and to the right, to the right, to the right. Yeah. Yeah. And when I was out, I sent an Airbnb message just before I left saying uh, there's a few mosquitoes because it was raining yesterday. They sent the guy down with the spray and you know what he left behind? You know what he left behind? It's a wee treat for me. A couple of brownies. A couple of brownies. So there's dessert. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, okay. a nice place. How much are you uh, I don't know how much in rupees, but it's 102 British pounds per night. So in rupees, that is probably 10,000. No, I think it's more like 10,000, yeah. That, that was in the fridge free for when I came in. There's loads of, there's like Heinz big, there's cans of Heinz big beans, orange juice, lots of, lots of little, little things they've left. 
Bourbon well, biscuits. Well, you are paying hundred pounds. So. Yeah, yeah. It's you're not free, is it? I've paid for. It. I've paid for it. It's like included. It's a uh, part of what I've paid for, it, right? I don't know what the sauce is. So this one's like a spicy uh, momo sauce. Yeah. And this is like mayo's. So ah, okay. I like that one better. You like this one? Yeah. Okay. If you like spicy, you could take that. Okay, I like a little bit spicy. I'm gonna. I'll give it a go. I guess I just burst it open. Oh, 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 that's not good. The Airbnb host is not going to be pleased with that. Okay, I'll clean it up after I sample the momos. Right, Jesus. Oh, that is spicy. Oh, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> damn, damn, I want half that mayo. <laughs> I want half that bloody mayo. That is spicy as hell. Damn. Wouldn't it be me if I don't make a mess eating food on a vlog? Jesus. See all the chili seeds there? Right, well. This one's nicer. Okay. It's kind of like, uh, kind of like yogurt, but a little sweet. I see. Yeah, it's not really mayonnaise, is it? It's kind of like yogurt yeah, sauce. It's, yeah, but they call it mayonnaise. Okay, so what do you think of my momos? It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty cheap. And it's not that well. spicy, usually. The it's not that spicy? <laughs> you can look at all the chili seeds in there, man. That's gonna almost blow my bloody head off. I'm dipping it in the mayo stuff. Let's give it a go. It's supposed to be chicken inside. Ah, it's nice. That is nice. That's well worth 100 rupees for all that. For dinner for two. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of momos. Mm. Well, actually, those momos were so good. I'm going to come and give the guy a 100% tip. But that's the guy there. For you, tip. Tip, tip. The momos were good. <laughs> he thinks I want more. He thinks I want more. This for you. Keep. No need momos. Tip, tip. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we've been walking for like 10 minutes or so and we keep seeing these little temples. They're temples, right? Or what? Yeah, these are like old forts. So old forts, Muslim, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Muslim dynasty built these all over Delhi. Yeah. They're like little forts and yeah, so, yeah, these are all over the area. You don't have to pay to get in. No. Fantastic. So yeah, this whole house Kaz and surrounding area. The place that I was in, that's the house Kaz village, right? Yeah. But it's a whole area, right? Yeah. He said there's loads of nightclubs and stuff. Right. This place gets pretty lively at night, uh, which we're approaching. It's now like 6.15 or something. But yeah, you don't have to pay to get in these ones. Unlike the main temple park that was like, bloody 300 rupees for foreigners. Still pissed off about that. Aye, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, so these are tombs, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, I see there, they're like kind of, Graves. Oh, it's the pretty royal, dark inside. The royal Don't... folks from back in the day would be there with you. All right. Wow. Huh. That's kind of cool. It's just like the tomb area and the one that you had to pay for. Yeah. Except it's free. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of this area. You've got your normal streets and stuff. You've got your friendly locals. Hello, sir. How are you? Bye, sir. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> You've got all that, but mixed in, you've got all these old tombs and forts and ruins and stuff. So. It's a real nice area. I'm really enjoying this part of Delhi, House Kaz. So uh, yeah, we're going to walk down the street, find some other adventures to have, and I will bid you guys farewell. See you on the next video. See ya.